Join Grandma Mary for incredible edible art for kids and learn how to take things like carrots, celery, pasta, marshmallows, pretzels, and make beautiful and yummy art. Today, you little incredible artists, we are going to be making bugs. Springtime is upon us. So lots of bugs and caterpillars are going to be appearing. And the first bugs that we are going to make are our caterpillars. Hmm, just what is a caterpillar? Tell you, it's a worm in a fur coat. <laughs> We're gonna make those. Caterpillars and bugs love dirt. So this dirt is a piece of toast, piece of bread with peanut butter on it. And that's the dirt for this caterpillar. And he's gonna go down here like this. And his antenna are chow mein noodles. Just stick those right up there like that so he can tell where he's going. And our second caterpillar are more grapes. Maybe it's the older brother. Hmm, they kind of look like twins. I think we're going to call them Caterpillar Connor and Caterpillar Carter. Our next caterpillars are going to be made on this bread that is spread with brown sugar. And these are just gummy worms. Piece them together. And there's one. And then we are going to use green M&Ms make a wonderful caterpillar. And this one kind of looks like an older brother also. Hmm. Let's call this one Zachariah, and let's call this one Dakota. And we are going to make a ladybug. And they are kind of the queen of the bugs. And when I was looking up ladybugs, I discovered, and I did not know this, that they have seven spots. So the next time you see a ladybug outside, count those spots. So we have for our ladybug's body, a uh, half of a red pepper cut so it can rest. They always want to be on a stem of some kind. So it's resting on a celery stalk. Here is a blueberry for the head. And now for the spots to make them stick on because they love to slide off, take a chocolate chip and just put a teeny dollop. That's a fun word, dollop of peanut butter and put your ladybug's spots on. And remember, only seven. Remember, they're kind of the queen of the insects. So I think we're going to call this ladybug Little Miss Royal. Some of my other favorite bugs are butterflies. Now this doesn't look like a butterfly, does it? But look what happens when I take this large pizza crust and flip it over and make our butterfly wings. And now our butterfly needs some stripes. And one way to make stripes would be thin pieces of cantaloupe, or you could use thin pieces of watermelon. Here's my trusty carrot peeler, would be carrot strips. My carrot peeler is a monkey. And I always teach my cooking students, he's only safe to use when he is looking at the carrot. That way he won't cut you. So we're going to take a carrot strip, a little bit bigger one. There's our pear. Okay, there are the strips. Now, what would be a good idea for the body of our, those are the wings, what if we used a pretzel rod? What a wonderful butterfly. But what if we used a zucchini or a cucumber? Wonderful butterfly. And what if we used our 
friend, the hot dog, another beautiful butterfly. Let's see, again, it's looking kind of majestic. I think we're going to call that butterfly Queen Olivia. And here we have four more butterflies. This one is from a taco shell broken in half. The head is a cherry tomato and the antenna are, again, blue gummy worms cut in half. Stick them right up there. And this butterfly is made from orange slices, again, put back to back. And this one has a head that's a blueberry and red pepper antenna. And this butterfly is made from fortune cookies. And its head is a little piece of black licorice. Again, you could use a black olive or a green olive would be good. And the antenna are green beans. And our last butterfly is made from pear halves or pear slices, again, back to back with an orange gumdrop head and green bean antenna. Again, you could use celery leaves, many things for the antenna. Something's missing here though. I think they need a few bugs to eat. So let's put a few bugs here. These are Benjamin's bugs. Oh, delicious, they cannot wait. And these look like some of my other favorite butterflies. Hannah, Taylor, Jessica, and Andrew. And there, my little friends, are edible bugs and butterflies. Yum, yum. If you had fun making caterpillars and ladybugs and edible butterflies, remember to subscribe to Incredible Edible Art for Kids with our favorite, Grandma Mary.